Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for July 29th, 2020 and it is for the sign of Libra. That being said, it is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, so please do take what resonates with you, what feels good with you, and leave the rest aside. If it doesn't feel right with you, most likely it does not belong to you. So, if you would like to have a personal reading, you have questions, you have answers, you must need them now, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And it will be my pleasure to send you the information out on, you know, the variety of readings that I can offer you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time before we, you know, get into other things here to uh, subscribe to my channel and to show your support and your encouragement. Very, very important. So, that being said, let's begin this reading. It's meant to be short, sweet, simple, to the point. So, I have here two cards from the Enchanted Map. I have here the um, first card, which is the obstacle, and then I have the uh, outcome for a love relationship. So, either you're in a relationship or, you know, it's all about love. You're looking for love. These are your obstacles and your outcomes. So, let's see what we have in store for you. Let's begin with the First card, one ring circus is your obstacle and dry desert is your outcome. So this is your first card and voila. So this is you're capable and you're competent. Now independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resource that you need. You need to recognize that all of the wisdom that you have acquired along the way makes you particularly com competent and capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. This is meaning that every single thing that you have done into the past, every single relationship, every challenge, every downfall, up everything, okay, has made you who you are today and you're competent and able to move into this type of relationship that you want to be in. Now, another aspect to consider in, is, you know, um, creating and maintaining the clear boundaries between you and another. Very important to have those boundaries. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and you have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and you're going to attract people who mirror back your wholeness, okay? Your attitude. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive. They're stimulating and they're transformative. So, you can achieve anything right now at this time if you do want. Anything is possible, okay? But what you need to have here is independence. This is your obstacle. You need to have independence, okay? And you need to recognize all the wisdom and everything that you've acquired into the path. And you need to recognize that right now you're ready for, if, you already into, if you're already in that relationship, you're ready for a long-term relationship. Maybe with this person or maybe with somebody else. You're ready for it. You have everything you need for it. Um, and if you're not yet in one, well, you know exactly what it is that you want and you need to attract people that are like that. If that's the energy you give out, then that is the energy that you should have rippled back to you. Okay, we're going to move on to your over here to your outcome. Your outcome here is a dry desert. So the outcome here is you need to dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. You know who you are, you know what you want, but you need to be resilient and adaptable. Now, is your life presenting you with opportunities that just seem to yield to nothing? Have your ideas kind of dried up? Does it feel like you're you're on an endless journey through a dry, hot, hot, lifeless desert here. This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as your journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort. You reach the oasis that you're searching for, okay? 
So you are going to have obstacles before you get to that final outcome that you do want. But you need, do need to keep your energies. You do need to keep your energy level positive and where it is. Okay. You need to consider the creatures that live, you know, in these conditions. So people that are surrounding you. You need to um, go deep within yourself now. You need to find your truth okay you need to whatever it is okay that you do need right now this is what you need to find is your truth now this may not seem like the most productive time but looks are deceiving this is a most important place to find what truly is right for you okay so you are going to be having some uh, well you are going to be having some challenges okay between getting your your obstacle and moving forward okay and going all the way as here into the dry desert you are going to be having some obstacles but if you are um, you know it seems as though you are able to overcome them you are able to do it you are able to get your effort to exactly what it is that you want but you need to keep some energy and you need to keep that energy flowing in in a positive way always okay and keep those solutions coming you need to dig deep for inspiration and truth okay now is the time I'm saying it again to become resilient and to become adaptable in relationships you must be resilient you must be adaptable both parties must be adaptable if you're not adaptable your desert is going to remain dry okay you're going to have to change you're going to have to find an oasis elsewhere if you do want to have your oasis with your relationship that you're with right now you do need to be adaptable, okay? So I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. I do hope that you do apply this. I do hope that it did help you out. It gave you some interesting messages. I wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Thank you so very much for being there. If you would like to inquire about a personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And we'll see each other tomorrow for another reading. Have a great day.